This qualifying recap brought to you by Philips Connect, technology that moves us forward. They also are going to make another crew chief announcement coming in the upcoming days. They've got uh, another addition coming to that team. Going out for Austin early and they shut it off. Jet playoff as well. 3.741, 326 miles an hour for Leah. And I do believe they have officially put Gainesville behind them. Leah goes to the top with that code free associates machine at 3.741. I was I was super stoked we made two full pulls in a yeah. row and for it to hold so actually with the scoreboards being you know much farther past than our finish line sometimes you can see what you run and I wasn't able to see but I knew that it was better than our 76 from before but I think more than anything I'm excited for Neil <laughs> as a lead crew chief for a team um, his first year doing that and now it's our fourth race um, for him to be in this spot that's the confidence that is the building blocks of what's going to take this team to that next step so and tomorrow's a whole new day and there's a ton of incredible competition so I mean just enjoying this moment right now enjoying the three points that come with it using what we had today that's the great thing that tomorrow is very exactly like today basically condition wise so uh, we'll be in lanes two and three those seem to have absolutely no problem and uh, we can just keep picking away at it and that's what we've been wanting and hoping for is those opportunities um, and it all kind of started from testing and Indy uh, that we did last week My car was real fast in testing. Daniel Hood and Fabrizi runs it. Daniel's my son-in-law, actually, and uh, uh, husband. But uh, ran a string of 80s at testing in Phoenix. But it got to Pomona, and we were off the game. Couldn't get back. Uh, you know, Gainesville. You know, Phoenix. It, it just wasn't going anywhere. And uh, it'd be quick, one run, and then wouldn't for a number. And um, it made a run, but there again, it didn't do it again. So there'll probably be changes in the clutch. But for right now, uh, that won't stick tomorrow, but it, it feels good to get back up here with y'all. Final quad from stock qualifying session number one as they bump their way in. and Aaron Stanfield at 6.642206.42 goes to the top. Um, I talk to Mark Ingersoll, I always kind of like to know, you know, what's our goal here, what's a, what's, how fast do you think we can run, and, you know, he said if we run a 63, we'll really, we'll really crush him out there, and uh, we were, we were obviously really close, and, um, man, we just have a really good, smooth, consistent hot rod right now, and, and uh, we're taking advantage of it. Competition Plus is your go-to source for the latest in drag racing news. For over 20 years, CompetitionPlus.com has provided news you can trust, thoroughly researched and delivered as quick and fast as it can be uploaded. Whether it's nitro or stock, drag radial or pro modified, our writers are trained to bring you the inside story time and time again. We have it all from in-depth news articles to the latest in high-performance products to the scuttlebutt making its way around the pits. Original video content from the stars in drag racing also makes Compet CompetitionPlus.com, the ultimate one-stop shop for die-hard drag racing fans. Don't make CompetitionPlus.com your only stop on the information superhighway. Make it your first. For news you can trust and have trusted for 20 years, visit CompetitionPlus.com. Be sure to download our mobile app. It's a free download on the Apple Store and Google Play.